Developing overnight, hospitals and healthcare workers bracing for an onslaught of coronavirus patients. In some cases, they're already there. At this hour, there are nearly 9,000 cases nationwide. That's a 45% increase since yesterday. 149 Americans have died. New data from the CDC shows that nearly 40% of the first patients in the U.S. who were sick enough to be hospitalized are between the ages of 20 and 54. Uh, a member of the White House Coronavirus Task Force is pleading with young people to stop socializing in groups. Overnight, President Trump signed a sweeping multi-billion dollar emergency aid package that provides paid sick leave for Americans in quarantine and free coronavirus testing. It comes as Congress works out the details of a $1 trillion economic stimulus package that could be finalized by early next week. The death toll in Italy is rising by a record 475 people in one day. Healthcare workers are struggling to contain the worst national crisis that that country has endured since World War II. More than 3,500, sorry, 35,000 people are infected and almost 3,000 have died. 60 million people are under lockdown there. Other European countries are tightening restrictions to keep the pandemic from spreading as well. And CNN's Clarissa Ward is live in London with the latest. So what are they doing, Clarissa? That's right, Alison. So we're here in the heart of London in Covent Garden. Anyone who's visited Britain's capital has probably been here before. Normally, this would be heaving with hundreds, if not thousands of people. It's a very popular, busy destination. Now you can see <laughs> practically nobody out on the streets. And if we just walk over here this way, you can see Covent Garden tube station. This is the underground subway system is now closed. One of dozens of London tube stations that have been shut down temporarily. But despite these measures, Allison, the European numbers are continuing to climb. We reached a particularly grim milestone today, which is that the total number of cases and deaths across the European continent have now surpassed China. Just let that sink in for a moment. Particularly, of course, uh, we're looking at Italy. 475 deaths in one day alone. That is the biggest spike that Italy has seen since it has been grappling with this crisis. And other countries are showing no signs of getting away unscathed. Germany, 11,000 cases. France, nearly 10,000 cases. The UK recording somewhere under 3,000 cases. But important to remember, that the UK has not been testing anywhere near as much as some of these other countries. So there is definitely a very real sense here that Europe is careening into the eye of the storm. And there's very real fears that this could look even uglier than some of the worst examples we already saw in China. Mm. You know, we obviously here in the US, we look to Europe to see what our few, next few weeks looks like. Young people in Italy and France are becoming more seriously ill with this than we had thought possible. So tell us about that. And this is so interesting, Allison, because, you know, the news that we heard from China when China was in the throes of the worst peak of the crisis was that young people essentially did not really seem to be affected. That does not appear to be the case here in Europe. We just heard uh, from France, for example, that of the roughly 300 people that they have in intensive care units across the country, 50% of them are under the age of 60. 7% uh, of their deaths have been people under the age of 65. And one of the real concerns for officials is that it's young people largely who have been flouting government recommendations about gathering, socializing, going to restaurants and bars, and they could still be much more vulnerable than they realize. John? All right, Clarissa Ward for us on the streets of London. Just so people know, that neighborhood Clarissa is standing in is normally shoulder to shoulder with people. I mean, it's the kind of place where you have to weave your way through. It's normally so crowded. So a remarkable image in and of itself there, Clarissa. Thank you very much.